Hello everyone, it's me again, GW fan the softcore brony, welcome you back to Twilight Sparkle on Let's Play Philly Fantasy 6. How you doing, Twy? Huh? Oh, it doesn't really flash like it does in the original one, but Huh. What's this magicite here? Eh? What? This is one of the magicite we rescued from the factory. One of the ones I haven't talked about yet. What? How do you remember that, anyway? Seriously. <laughs> uh, once you see what we're about to see, you'll know why I'm saying, how the heck do you remember that? Hey look, it's Esper Sunset Shimmer. And we are now, well, this pony. And, well, this is the Esper World. Not that there's much we can really do here. Hey, talk to me! Something's coming through the gate. Yeah, we can go around and, well, talk to other Espers, but it's not really that interesting, so... Hey? Ah, we're a pony named Twilight, which is one of the new espers we collected, one of the six that joined us all at once that we we're forced to collect, and I believe the last ones that we have to get in the game. <laughs> Just leave him there to rot. <laughs> but yeah, we'll uh we'll take him. Why not? Might as well. Seems like she recognizes this fellow. Huh. Okay, sure, why not? Oh. Dazzle Glow, huh? I'm surprised that you're not uh, Rose Dust, <laughs> honestly. From uh, one of the, well, the leader of the Flutter Ponies from G1, because she's kind of, like, super important in that regard. But actually, we only get one uh, Flutter Pony as an Esper in this game, as a, 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 I think, if I remember correctly, so. Oh, yeah. And super angry Rainbow Dash. Yep, super angry, all right. I guess we could go and talk to some more ponies, but nah, whatever. Esper Apple Bloom. I'll talk to him anyway. Nightlight. And as of the comics, at least, his name definitely is officially Nightlight. Well, in comic canon. I mean, it is kind of technically a separate canon, but, well... Yeah, apparently these two met already once before. <laughs> well? <laughs> yeah... No, it's just our vacation spot. Welcome to Paradise Estate. Well, something like that. Yeah, we cut. Sometimes we get bored, <laughs> so. Ah, you have your son. Yeah, in this game, uh, well, <laughs> if it isn't if it isn't obvious, since they're actually role reversing the two characters from the original game. <laughs> Yeah, Shining Armor is considered to be Twilight's half-brother in as far as this lore is concerned. <laughs> I have this good excuse to stay! <laughs> anyway, I'm glad we're able to run, because normally we couldn't do that. Why are you surprised? Aren't you basically telling me that? Huh. I mean, why would I have known that? <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess uh, that was a thousand years ago, though. Maybe things have changed! Ah, uh, yeah, right. Anyway. 
see you're not called youth anymore. Like in the original game. Yeah, I changed my mind all of a sudden. <laughs> Seriously. Not entirely. <laughs> Not at all. Ah. And with this pronouncement. And this makes so much more sense than in the original game when they just kind of instantaneously fell in love with each other and decided they wanted to experiment or some ridiculousness like that. Yeah, and she'll be Twilight Sparkle. Pretty good, huh? Oh, year later, huh? Nexus, uh? What the? There's a disturbance in the force! How can it be? He's banished! Mm, did they go about explaining that yet? Because it's been explained to me, but I don't know if they actually explain it in-game yet. I haven't rewatched this part anytime recently. Ah, uh, okay, there we go. That's that's as close to that's well, maybe there's more, but <laughs> Yeah, that's about as close to an explanation as we're gonna get here. He's still banished, he just managed to get at least partly out by coming here. Uh because as you recall the if from the if from the show, if you well, if you are familiar with it, of course, <laughs> you should be if you're watching this. <laughs> then he basically took the Crystal Empire with him. So, mm, good, good. Hey, what's that? Ah, the magic barrier. Yeah, the Flutter Ponies didn't want anyone coming to see them either, although they didn't have a magic barrier up. <laughs> ah. Out of our world and back into... Yeah, and, yeah, back into his, uh... world and all that. That he's been banished to is basically how it's supposed to work. Ah. Yeah, since alicorns exist among espers as well. You're so old! You're like ancient! <laughs> anyway. Ah. Uh, yeah, I don't care if I can ever go back. I'm happy here. I've got you. Aww. Uh, <laughs> remain here and just be safe. Everything's under control. Uh. Oh, I thought I had to actually specifically talk to Angry Rainbow Dash, but. Don't be ridiculous! What are you saying? How dare you? Huh? Um. This is your fault, you know that, right? Huh, funny how you know that all of a sudden. <laughs> okay, he took her to the gate. I don't know how we know that, but we do. Anyhow. Yeah, carnage is supposed to be going on, but there's... Actually, is there anybody even left? Any pony even left? Doesn't look like it. Huh, Sombra already left? Well, maybe got pushed out would be more accurate. Uh, crud! You fool!
foolish fool! Tis I. Oh. Well, you did partially succeed. I mean, you did capture a bunch of espers. However, you're not being freed back into the real world yet, as far as this lore is concerned. Or at least as it's been explained to me. I never doubted you! Alright, we'll just slowly make our way back and, uh... Oh! Drop the baby! <laughs> really?! Dang it! Whoa. This is where P's been banished to? That honestly looks kind of like a nice place. Yeah, I got her. Take her. And completely different from the original game. He gets away! <laughs> Whereas in the original, that character, which actually would have been the mother, uh, gets killed right here. So, and the character Terra has been in the Empire's care for like practically her whole life. Hmm. Once I get out of my prison! I'll get you next time, Gadget! I could do a better impression than that, but oh well. Anyway, too late. Moment's over. Yes, this little crystal was your mother. Wow. Otherwise known as Madwin in the original, but Twilight in this game, so. Because, well, the fandom calls her Twilight Velvet, though I don't think it's been, well, canonized or whatever you want to call it. Yep. I see. Mm, I know, you think you'd know a lot of things about this, but... Mm, yeah, he... Oh, there we go. How do you know this all of a sudden, Flash? <laughs> ah, yes, yes, and... Several years later, he did that, which I'm assuming is like a year or two ago, as far as we're concerned here. Although it's been about 18 years since he broke into the uh, Esper world. So, okay, it has been explained a little bit there. It's time for, well, <laughs> Revenge of the Jedi! <laughs> hey, yeah, what about Nash? We're, we're just gonna bring that up all of a sudden. Yeah, why not? We've been neglecting it for so long. Hopefully they're not overrun by now. Ah, the ring boom. That's true, we have an airship now! Whoopee! And also, we have Twilight Sparkle back finally as well, to replace Cadence who just left. Ah! Step up. Oh, right. I thought she stepped. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Upright instructions. I speak like computer now. <laughs> Left and right for direction. I never use L and R. I really don't. <laughs> I always use the directional pad. Ah, yep. We can go inside the ship and heal and buy items and what have you. And also change the party much more easily than going all the way back to Nash, which we actually cannot do anymore as far as changing the party goes. Yep, B to land, A to lift off. Yep, easy enough, don't tell me again. Why not? I mean, I don't really use it, but well, yeah, there's always that, which we could have done before the airship as well. And this, we can basically strafe. It's kind of weird. And we can also make high speed turns, not that I really ever do that either, but... 
Anyway, we now have Rainbow Dash in the party. Oh good, my level average is one level higher than usual. <laughs> Usually it's 16 right now. <laughs> Whew, so I'm at least on track to not being ridiculously underleveled <laughs> for later. But anyway, we got Rainbow Dash. Who actually, are your stats? Yeah, who honestly, except for her speed stat, really doesn't have very good stats. <laughs> Her vigor and magic power are kind of low. So as far as espers go, you could uh, kind of go either way with her as well because her slots are based ent entirely on her magic stat there. But she also, as Pegasus of course, gets spears and eventually we're, uh, where is it? The wing shoes die. This eventually will be better. It's not really that useful right now because it kind of acts that you basically you do like two turns with this <laughs> so it's not really that useful right now and it's just doing double damage taking up two turns anyway so but for the purpose of actually using the uh, I guess you could say better version of dive later in the game you'll want to use bigger which is another reason why I'm powering up flash even though most of his abilities are related to that anyway so I am gonna be powering up dash with bigger and otherwise, we also have a whole bunch of new espers that we got. Well, six. Including Galaxy who and uh, Fizzy, who are both from the original G1 show. The rest of the characters, other than this one, I don't know. Oh, Northstar also. That's right. <laughs> Almost forgot. And, yeah, the other two, Majesty and Bengals, I don't know where in the G1 lineup they're from. They're not from the show, but anyway, we got Galaxy heals status effects specifically and we can learn these at a bit of a higher rate and also learn Osmos. I think it's the only other one we can learn Osmos from. But yeah, we can learn Kira Kira too at a slightly higher rate than Gusty there. No, oh, actually 8. Is that 10 or... Ah uh, yeah, 8 and 5. So yeah, that's nice. I don't care at all about protecting Shell. <laughs> at least as magic spells anyway. I mean, those are good statuses, but just not the spells themselves. Twilight, who we just saw a little history of, she teaches all these little bit times two, and it's also another magic power plus one pony, so that that'll be uh, really good. Uh, no North Star, different. The only Esper who's truly different than the original does damage, very very low damage compared to all the other damaging Espers. I think. Twilight does the same amount of damage as Star Scroll and Firefly, and the other, and Fizzy also, but, uh, yeah, it does a little low damage, and also casts Blind, don't really care, also casts a bunch of stuff that, except for Stop, I don't really care about. Gravity is a new spell, cuts enemies HP in half, that is very seldomly useful, so I don't really end up using it, HP is 10%, don't care. We also can learn Wave now for the first time, the, uh, first of the two uh, water element, new water elemental magic spells in the game, though I don't particularly care about this one. The second one's much better. Uh, Majesty, I've explained this a little bit last time, it casts Banish on the whole party, which is very useful in a couple of different instances in the game. And also, it's the only Esper that we can learn Banish from. And, oh, we can learn Float on this one now? Oh, well, what do you know? And now we can actually learn Death from this Esper, which in other versions we could do much later in the game. Death is a little different in this than it was in the original. Like, not, like, horribly different, but it still works the same. It's just, it seems like it works 100% accurate now, which is, well, different from the original where it sometimes can miss because uh, our stamina also has something to do with its accuracy. And also, very notably, it is not affected by reflect anymore. So, keep that in mind <laughs> against the few enemies in the game that do use the death spell. <laughs> and then we got Bengals, cast Reflect on the whole party. I prefer the Reflect Ring over using this, although you could have Celestia use this, I suppose, to keep Reflect up, because it only lasts for, I think, like, three attacks or something like that. Just a limited amount of time, if nothing else. Otherwise, I think it's the only one that we can learn Reflect from. You can learn Haste. I don't especially care if it's a single target, though I suppose we could do it to ourselves. We also get HP plus 30%, which, by the way, is not terrible specifically for Celestia right now. And there's also better HP bonuses later in the game. 
there's a reason that I actually like giving Celestia HP from pretty much here on out. Since her magic stat is actually good enough as it is, just 50 right, 51 right there. <laughs> oh, right, you're wounded. I'll pick you up later. And yeah, warps, whatever. It gets inside of dungeons, what you do. And then Fizzy, Water Elemental. Uh, I use this every once in a while whenever Water Element is necessary since it's pretty much the strongest Water Element you can get. I mean, well, there actually is one I think is stronger, but I don't really tend to <laughs> use the Water Element all that often. Otherwise, it teaches a bunch of spells that I like, don't care about, especially Poison. That's totally useless at this point in the game. And then it also gives Stamina. Nobody gives a crap about Stamina because the only thing it really does is affect uh, how much damage you take from poison and, uh, what was it? That other one. I forget what it's called now. Oh. Oh, Seizure, that was it. Yeah, poison and Seizure, and then how much HP you regain from the regen spell. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Although in the original game, it also affected death spell's accuracy, but since death spell seems to be 100% accurate now, as, as far as I've seen, I don't think it affects it anymore, so I don't really care about the stamina <laughs> at all, and you are permanently going to be in the back just like pretty, pretty much everyone else, except for Scootaloo on occasion, and maybe one or two other characters, but in any case, we have an airship, and the whole world is our oyster, and there's a whole bunch of side quests that we can do next time on Let's Play Philly Fantasy 6. And I'll explain the whole changing parties thing, not that I really need to, uh, next time as well. <laughs> Arrivederci!